So guys, step number one, you will need a 2.5 millimeter Allen key. I'm using my own, but if you uh, had the board uh, delivered to you or you purchased uh, the board with the rough stuff wheels, they would have given you an Allen key with it. This is the Allen key to take the screws out to replace your uh, belt uh, covers, belt protectors. It's the same Allen key. So you can either use uh, the Allen key that came with the pack. And I'll show you that does work just fine. It's a bit longer. A bit more fiddly than using a uh, your own longer uh, key but it does the job so that's a screw out so I'm using my own and what we need to do is we need to uh, remove one two three four eight screws right around this battery here yeah so in each line here you have a uh, allen key we're going to remove them, uh, Allen, uh, Allen bolts, and uh, we'll fill out the the cover. See if we need to take out the ones uh, at the front here as well. So removing the, uh, the Allen keys. So guys, removing the Allen screws. Uh, please ensure that you do uh, press the Allen key into the screw head all the way in and push the screw. You want to straight ahead. So guys, please, when you uh, take the screws out, make sure that you press on the Allen key correctly. Keep the Allen key straight and make sure you use the right size Allen key because you don't want to strip the uh, head on these uh, Allen bolts. You will need them again. Guys, you will need to take out all 10 Allen screws. I did mention to take the first eight first, take them out and uh, then to take the uh, two right at the front by the front wheels. So all ten of them in total take the screws out. Please note that each of the uh, screws does come with a uh, washer washer and also with a uh, split jam washer as well yeah this is to stop your screws from unwinding when you are moving around from vibration so the way it goes back together is a screw then the uh, split washer or the jam washer I call it and then a normal flat washer so guys flat washer jam washer or the split washer and the bolt just like that that's the way it goes back together so make sure you don't lose them you'll need them I found it a little bit easier to use the needle nose pliers to take out the uh, bolts my fingers are quite fat so I couldn't get between the segments of the battery to get them out. The one thing I noticed is that the flat washer sits quite tightly between the segments. So make sure to take them all out because if you start removing the battery with them in, you will definitely drop them. So as you can see, I'm using the uh, needle nose pliers. And well, I just dropped one. But my floor is nice and clean so I can see where the parts are dropping. Just in case, do the same. Do the same, guys. There we go, just drop the bolt. But I'm trying to video at the same time, so hence why. Okay, so now I got all my spare parts. I'll pick the ones on off the floor and put them in a uh, little separate can or container or something so I don't lose them. One quick tip, guys. I always keep uh, like weird sizes or different sizes of uh, jars. Like this one is from Doritos Dip. 
uh, just stick them in a uh, dishwasher, just clean it yourself. It's very handy keeping little parts like that. So at the moment I know all my screws are in and safe, so I can put them aside. So guys, next step. Uh, all the screws are now removed and safely stored in a jar. I couldn't get the ones at the front because they are quite deep in, so remember that they are at the front. If you want, you can put a bit of masking tape over the holes so when you move the battery about, they don't drop out. Okay? If you don't want to do it, that's fine. What you do now is slowly pull on the battery, lift it up slightly from the rubber gasket, and pull the battery forward. Just jiggle it a little bit. So what you're going to see is your battery will come off and will disconnect from the speed controller, just like this. And here we go. That's your battery pack. Separated now from the board and the speed controller. So guys, the next step is, you see this connector here? This is the connector. Well, that connects, haha. <laughs> connects the speed controller uh, to the battery itself. So what you gotta do is, pull them apart. Just please be careful, do not pull on the cables. Do not pull on the cables. You need to grab onto the plastic bits themselves and pull them apart. Okay? It's gonna be hard for me to video this, but you need to just take your time, have a grip on them, and pull them apart. When you get a nice grip on them two parts, you pull the, uh, the two connectors apart from each other. This one stays with the board. This one is part of the battery. Don't worry about putting them back together because, well, how are you going to put them back together? Because they're different shape. One is uh, vertical, uh, one is horizontal. So when you put, get the new battery, you will only be able to reconnect it the correct way. So you will be absolutely fine. Okay, next step. So guys, we did remove 10 Allen uh, screws all the way around the battery. We did lift the battery up. We wiggled it slightly and pulled it away from the speed controller. We have now disconnected the uh, connector between the battery pack and the speed controller. As I recommended to you, I've done the same thing for me. I've used a bit of tape over the holes at the front because this is where the uh, other two Allen screws are. They were really deep. I couldn't get them out with the board, uh, sorry, with the battery being on the board. So what I'll do now is you take the tape off Take the tape off, you turn the board upside down, sorry, uh, the battery upside down, and uh, you catch the screws. The screws are exactly uh, uh, the same, just checking with the uh, ones in the can, yeah, they are exactly the same, so you can just chuck them together with the rest of the screws, and store them nice and safely. While we add this, Let's just take a look. So this is your beautiful uh, Flex E battery pack by Slick Revolution. Beautiful logo. And obviously at the back here, you can see how complicated <laughs> the whole lot actually is. There's quite a lot of bits and bobs in here. I'm not an expert, but well, lithium battery pack. Yeah, it's quite cool actually. Yeah, it's a lot more advanced than I thought. I didn't expect to see so many cables, but well, it is a cool board, so it needs to have all this stuff. Okay, so this is the old old uh, battery. Let's put it on the side. Guys, do not throw this away. Please don't throw this away. I will uh, uh, speak to, uh, well, I'm just going to email Slick Revolution. I'll find out what needs to be done with these batteries. I'm sure you cannot just chuck them in a bin, as any battery, especially complicated like this, uh, it needs to be obviously recycled properly. Uh, maybe even uh, Slick Revolution will ask you to send it back to them so they can repair it. I don't know. I'll find out. Okay, so the old battery is now out.